Hello, I'm Jeremy Pearsons. This is the Believer's Voice of Victory. My grandfather, Kenneth Copeland, joined Mark and Trina Hankins for their TV program where they taught on the spirit of faith and how it enables you to face the storms in life and overcome. Now, that is something that every believer needs to know. So, all this week, we are bringing you their Bible discussions about activating the spirit of faith in your life. Now, let's join Brother Copeland as he begins today's study. I've watched you guys over and over and over again, and the way you present faith is so vitally important. And what really um, advertises your faith to me is two, a team. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, we stay together, and instead of fighting each other, we you fight, fight the to fight yes. of faith together. Yes, yes. That's <laughs> the way Gloria and I have been all these years. <laughs> yeah. When we got married, um, Mark gave me, before we got married, he gave me this card. It says, two people is not looking at each other, but yeah, walking so that, in the same direction. Yeah. And then he added the verse, Hebrews 12, 2, looking oh, yes. unto Jesus. Looking yeah. unto Jesus, the, the author and, and the, the finisher of, of our faith. Yeah. And uh, that's how we started, and that's how we keep going. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> that's wow. good. Yeah, and so we're very thankful to be with you yeah. today, Brother thank Copeland, you. and thank you for taking the time to be with us. Oh, praise thank God. Thank you for the Victory yeah. Network. You know, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland give us free time daily, Monday through Friday, and, uh, you know, we're very thankful for that. And it's changed our lives. And you said it's like a dream to have a 24-hour yes. faith network, yes. and your dream Cause our dream to come to pass. Well, back, like I was saying yesterday when we were on the radio, because I got hold of it, I, you know, by the time World War II was over, um, I had just turned five years old the day before they bombed Pearl Harbor. So by the time that war was over with, I was almost 10. I, so, I, man, I remember it. I remember stuff that went on. And just right in the middle of it, I was raised out there in Abilene, Texas, and, there, mm -hmm. and there at Camp Barkley was just a little ways from there and the entire Air Force mm -hmm. Base, which is now Dice Air Force Base in Abilene. Mm -hmm. and, and it was, and all of this was right around me all the time. I mean, this is all everybody thought about. Yeah. But people were so completely and absolutely totally committed. Mm -hmm. And they were learning how to do things that they didn't know they could do. Yeah. And they, then like I mentioned, they had that uh, uh, total, total immersion language. Yeah, group. yeah. That if, if, that if we could, if I, if I could just get into the, if I could just get into it night and day like this and not, not do anything yeah. else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it, within six weeks, they were, they were fluent in a language. Ah. Uh, but you couldn't mix it with English. Uh, you had to, you had to. Isolate yeah, you can't in mix. That. You can't get into into your CDs. Uh, and then say, I'm going to get into this, and I'm going to yeah. stay in it. Well, now wait a minute. You know, now wait a minute. That other group over there said, "No, you don't. You don't messed it up." Wow. If 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 you're going to walk night and day in faith, if if, if you're going if you're going to develop your faith, that you just you just mentioned mm -hmm. the author and the finisher. Yeah. As you know. That Greek word is developer, yeah. finisher. Yeah. It's used like a Finnish carpenter. Yeah. Now you you don't you don't want a you don't want a regular carpenter doing the cabinets. There's uh -huh. going to be big old half moon hammer yeah. marks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want the Finnish guy He's to come. He's a finisher. In. Yeah. They need a finisher. And this is back in the days when you didn't somebody else didn't build the cabinets. Uh -huh. He was the finisher, yeah. the finish yeah. worth. The, the, he's the finisher of our faith. Mm -hmm. But Mark, Trina, he can't develop something you don't put in his hands. Uh huh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. If you don't put that in his hands, hmm. what we're saying here is this. Um, I, I remember this, the very first thing. I mean, number one, I mean, we were, like Charles Kapp said, we were so broke we couldn't pay attention. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing, and I'm still a student there at Old Roberts University, and I'm hearing all this. 
man, I'm flying for Brother Roberts. I'm, I'm yeah. going to the meetings. I'm seeing him uh -huh. preach. I'm listening yeah. to Brother Hagin yeah. on tape night and day. And I, I was getting a little yeah. money along. And I, ne I needed some socks, man. <laughs> I, needed some socks. <laughs> I really needed some socks. We didn't have any money. Yeah. And I thought, I've got to have some socks. And so I scraped together enough money and I, and I, I went to the show. You know, there wasn't any Walmart yeah. back there then. I mean, yeah. I went to the store and I heard the Lord, why don't you believe for socks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> My first thought was, can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, legal. well, of course you can do that. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I, I sold, you know, 50 cents or yeah. something, whatever it was, for socks. Yeah. I got covered up in socks. <laughs> I mean, people would just, people, my, I mean, somebody would say, Brother Copeland, I was just thinking about you and Gloria. And, and no I, was, you know, I, I was at the store here and I, I just that saw these socks and they look, they look nice to me. I'd say, oh, thank you. Look at that. They're my size. Thank you. I had socks aplenty. Oh, man. And I thought, all right, if I can get socks, I can get shorts. If I can get underwear, I can get a suit. Yeah. If I can... Uh, and Jesus just said, whosoever. Whosoever. I have whatsoever. <laughs> now, here's why this is important. I love hearing your story because uh, Dad Hagen, uh, uh, before he went to be with the Lord, the last five or ten years, something like that, he said the Lord told him to go back and teach yeah. on the fundamentals of The fundamentals of, of it. He said because too many of the leaders and pastors, preachers in the body of Christ, are preaching or teaching faith from where they are, mm -hmm. not from where they started. That's right. right. He said, and people can't get it from where they are. They got to get it from where they started. So Dad Hagen said he just was going back just to teaching on the basics and the mm -hmm. fundamentals of mm -hmm. faith. And the fundamentals of faith are applicable at every level of faith. Oh, yes, because they are fundamentals. They're fundamental. When you start, you know, I've been flying now for almost 60 years. Mm. So I learned so much through aviation yeah. because it's an applied science. Yeah. Well, the same physical rules mm -hmm. apply. Yeah. And once you mm -hmm. once you know that, you begin to think. I, I remember when I Brother Hagen said, "Now you can't, you can't, you have to, you can't walk by sight. Yeah. You have to walk by faith." Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at that, and I told Gloria, I said. Wait a minute, I already know how to do that. Yeah. She said, what are you talking about? I said, I had, that was the first fundamental thing I had to learn when I started getting me an instrument ready. Or don't fly by your feelings. Uh, yeah, no. Or by sight. They'll kill you. Yeah, now, I, I, you know more about this than I do, but I read an article because we fly <laughs> on plane to have pilots. But they said, if you are not instrument rated, you can only last for 90 seconds if you're flying visual or your senses will lie to you. Oh, big time. You got 90 seconds. It'd like to kill me one time. Not 90 minutes, not 90 days. You got 90 seconds if Man, you don't, if I'm you're telling not you, Twice, hmm. it'd like to get, got me. I won't go into all of it, but you get vertigo. Yeah. And you don't know you have it. Yeah, yeah. You don't know you have your it. Feelings. You don't know you have it. Yeah, I don't know. And hmm. you're, and then suddenly you get in the clouds and you've, you've been trying to stay contact, uh -huh. and, then, and then all of a sudden you got to look down here, and you, you th but you're, you're man, I, mm -hmm. this thing's turning. Yeah. I, I got to straighten it up. Ah. Uh, and wow. you weren't turning at all. Ah, uh, and so you weren't following your instrument. Yeah. And then you come out from under the overcast, and you're like this. Ah, uh, wow. And here's what was happening. Wow. When it first came out of the war and some single engine airplanes like the Beechcraft Bonanza were very fast. Mm. They come out like this and it's surprising you do this and yank the wings off of it. Oh. Or yank the tail off of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, and then it just kill you. So that's a, it's a great illustration that living by faith is learning to be instrument rated. Yes. And look into the word. Now, when well, I began to see that. And, and I realized my feelings uh -huh. mm. 
and, and my natural mind, hmm. trying to live by faith with my natural fine mind, of, it'll get you killed. Yeah. The devil will kill you. Yeah. He'll make you think it's going one way and it's going another. Yeah, yeah. And he'll just sneak wow. up there in behind you and nail you with something yeah. that'll, that'll, that'll kill wow. you. Now or that, maybe kill your family. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Here's your instrument radio. There it is, right there. <laughs> that's my panel right there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And that, let me, Keep your let eyes me, on it. Let me de demonstrate this. <clears throat> no, I, 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 I can't see out. Yeah. If I walk in the light as he is in the light, yeah. we or I have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus wow. Christ, his son, cleanses me from all sin. Yeah. If I say I have no sin, I deceive myself. Mm. Mm. Your feelings. I deceive myself. Mm. Huh. And the truth is not in me. Mm. If I confess my sin, he's faithful, just, he's righteous to forgive me my sin and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Wow. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I did it. Yeah. I said it. I did it. Yeah. It's not a problem. It's a sin. Yeah. I feel like a dog, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. You're faithful and you're just. Yeah. And and I I received. I confessed that sin. Yeah. I was not in. I I was not willing to forgive that yeah. person. Yeah. And I, the politicians and all. Yeah. And I I did it. Huh. And I stand here and I I praise you, sir. And, and I'm military minded. I was in yeah. the army, and I was just stand it, just stand at attention. Mm. I praise you, sir, and I, and uh, permission uh, uh, to b be freed of this sin. Thank you very much. I'm I, I'm I'm forgiven <laughs> and yeah. I'm cleansed. Yeah. I'm cleansed. That's wow. faith All the right time there. I feel like just, just yeah. shut up. Yeah, yeah. You're cleansed. Now yeah. just shut up. Don't you this say anything true. else. Don't uh, you act any other way. And you put a smile on your face and get up out of the floor and go do business <laughs> because you are forgiven yeah. and you are cleansed. And cleansed from all unrighteousness. All of it. And Smith Wigglesworth said something like this. He said, there is not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. That's it. From all unrighteousness. So what am I doing? Walking by faith. Walking You're walking by, by faith. faith. The feelings have Not to show up later. Side. Yeah. Now what happens? It's amazing how rapidly yeah. your feelings change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Because your spirit takes over. Yeah. Yeah. And you think, <laughs> glory yeah. to God, I'm free of this thing after yeah. all. Yeah. The truth is, the blood of Jesus. Yes. And so you, you agreed that I did miss it. I, I didn't obey God, mm -hmm. but now I'm agreeing with God yeah, that the blood of blood. Jesus cleanses me from you all You just sin. said what faith is. Yeah. You agreed with God. With God. <laughs> and so that's why Romans 3.25, well, verse 27 says the law of faith. Yes. But Romans 3.25 says, through faith in his blood. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. In other words, to live by faith and to win the fight of faith, the focus of our faith in Romans 3.25 is, is in the blood of Christ. What the blood of Jesus has done for us, what it does in heaven, what it does in us and cleanses our conscience from guilt and shame, and what the blood does over Satan, who's the accuser of the brethren. That's right. So our faith is in his blood. Now then, the people that, uh, well, let's say, for instance, the people that are watching us now on direct when, before we, we, were, we were just on dish. So there's a, a lot of, of new people that have never heard this. Born again, people, and a lot of them spirit filled mm -hmm. and have heard the wrong thing about the word of faith. Mm -hmm. The devil is going to fight anything that has any form of power. Huh. Anything that takes, it pulls him down from his place, he's going to fight it. He started off mm. fighting healing. He started off fighting speaking with other tongues. And he's, he just, mm. but you have to remember, 
he is, he has been brought to naught. That means zero. Mm. That's an accounting term for yeah. zero. Zero. So he's a defeated foe already. Yeah. Now, what is faith? Mm. Faith is a spiritual force. Mm -hmm. Let's look over there at the 11th chapter of Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews chapter 11. And um, he starts with now faith is. Now faith is the substance. Mm -hmm. Faith is a substance. Mm -hmm. It is a substance. You can't see it, but it is it's a substance. substance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a spiritual substance. Of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, mm -hmm. for by it, by faith, what faith? By faith in God, mm -hmm. the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds mm. were framed by the word of God so that things, natural, physical things, yeah. which are seen, mm -hmm. were not made of things that do appear. Or not, they're, they're made out of something invisible. Yeah. I, I've heard preachers say, God created all things out of nothing. No, he didn't. He created <laughs> out of something you can't something see. Something you can't see. And faith is faith. not nothing. Uh -huh. It is it's a substance. spiritual force that yes. is so powerful that Jesus said, a grain of mustard seed size yeah. of it. Yeah, can move them out. That's like saying it doesn't take much nuclear power to make a real mess. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, and, and but look what he said. It was made out of something that you can't see. Yeah. And by something, a force you can't see, Abel offered to God a more excellent mm. sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and mm. by it, him being dead yet speak. By faith or by, by a force, a spiritual force that you can't see, Enoch was translated by a force you can't see. Mm -hmm. And it's right in here. Yeah. That's the reason one of the biggest verses in the Bible is Mark 11, 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, when you, when you yes. go from Hebrews 11, we're talking about the spirit of faith. And I had a country guy, a redneck, come into my church years ago, and I was preaching on the spirit of faith. And he said... Uh, he said, that makes me want to grab a corn stalk and swing out over hell and spit in the <laughs> devil's eye. <laughs> I said, well, I know how you feel, but I never said it like that. <laughs> in other words, the spirit of faith gives you such confidence. And uh, the spirit of faith literally uh, feeds on the word of God. I call it God's word is a spoken thing. It was yes. spoken before it was written, yes. and it was written so it could be spoken. Yes. And we'd put God's Word in your mouth. I call that mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> in other words, you yeah. take God's Word, and you breathe in the faith of God, yeah. the that's God right. kind of faith. And that's the that's substance of our faith. faith. When I, I had a God uh, blessed me with a, and, and allowed me to see this in a vision. It wasn't an open vision. It was a spiritual vision, but I saw it. And I heard what God said when he created Adam. And I let me remind you, the word Adam is uh, blood. Yeah, that's good. This is a blood book. Yeah, it's all, it's all blood, blood covenant. First blood covenant was it, started Adam out. Adam was a man with the blood of God. Yes, there you are. Yeah. That's what causes faith. Yeah. The blood covenant. Confident. Now, oh, that's good. <laughs> he said, I saw him when he, in Genesis 2, and I literally, I literally saw this, well, in 1 and 2, well, the first chapter there, in the 26th verse. We already know from this 
particularly if you read the book of Hebrews, we know how God did this. Mm -hmm. He spoke these words. By faith, oh, yeah. By faith. That spiritual force. It's not something that God has, it's mm. what He is. Mm -hmm. He is love. Yeah. And He has faith, mm -hmm. but He is faith yeah. and He has love. The mm -hmm. thing of it is, reason the love's further is because faith works by love. Yeah. Yeah. Well, He has both. Yeah. <laughs> he is both. But God look. used His faith on purpose in Genesis chapter 1. Yes. Yeah. Now, He said in that 26th verse, let us make man in our image, mm -hmm. in our likeness. He's, and I saw him standing there in front of him. They were exactly the same. Oh. Mm. There was no way Adam could, because he's in his image. Mm. Yeah. Exactly the same size. Mm -hmm. And over here he said, and he breathed the breath of life in the seventh verse of the second chapter. He breathed the breath of life and man became mm. a living soul. Or the Chumash says, mm. a speaking spirit like God. Mm. A speaking yeah. spirit. He had to be a speaking spirit. He can't release yeah, his faith yeah. like God if he can't talk. Yeah, yeah. He had him like this and he said, man be. Yeah. And our <laughs> likeness and our image. Dominion have. Wow. And it's going right into his nostrils. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. He Adam didn't, didn't hear that. All he heard was, be blessed, oh. multiply. Multiply. <laughs> and he became Dominion. a living, speaking yeah. spirit like God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BBOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible study. Use the message outline to teach from. Discuss the scriptures and key points with your family of believers. Gain understanding from all the teachings on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Get the whole week of notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. The spirit of faith affects every area of your life, and there are two main ingredients to living by faith, that's believing and speaking. In Mark Hankin's book, The Spirit of Faith, you'll discover how to activate the faith of God in you in a more decisive manner. He describes how your attitude, your words, and even your joy play a part in your faith walk. Included in this book are historical and biblical examples of how faith made the difference between life and death or victory and defeat. Charge your faith to be ready for any battle in your life. Know what to do to build your faith before the storm shows up. Be ready with your battle plan of faith to take on any giant and win. Find out what may be stalling out your faith. Don't look back, but look forward to where God is taking you. God gives you the promise of forgiveness and the spirit of faith to open the door to the outpouring of His goodness in your life. Order your copy of Mark Hankins' book, The Spirit of Faith, for only 12 pounds. Outside the UK, call for postage. Order now at kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or when you call 01 225 787 310. You can face the challenges in life with confidence because faith is your victory. Let the spirit of faith flow out of your mouth and see things change. This offer is good for 30 days. Order yours today. Our Heavenly Father wants to bless you. He wants to take you from the bottom and put you on top. And listen, He can bless you in the city. He can bless you in the country, wherever He's called you to be. He can give you His peace and His safety. He's right there waiting for you, but you have to give Him a way in. And it's as simple as asking Him into your life to be the Lord and the Savior of your life. If you've never done that before, then today's the day of your salvation. Just pray this out loud after me and say, Father in heaven, I come to you in Jesus' name, and I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my mouth, Jesus is the Lord of my life. Take my life, Lord Jesus. Do something with it and fill me with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Now listen to me. If you prayed that prayer, I know it's simple, but you are born again. That means today's the first day of the rest of your life. And, and again, I know it was so simple, but what happened is so real. God put his own life on the inside of you. And that spirit of faith, God's faith is in you right now. So what do you do? You begin to say what the Bible says about you because those promises of God, they are for you. And you begin to focus on what the blood of Jesus has has done for you and how he's wiped away and washed away all your sins. And that's how you win this good fight of faith. And we want to help you learn more about this new life that you have in Christ Jesus. And that's why KCM has some free resources they want to give to you. It's called the Salvation Package. In this package, we're going to send you a book called He Did It All For You. And along with this book, we're going to send you a couple of brochures that are here just to help you learn how to read and how to study your Bible. We want you to to know more about who you are in Jesus, who he is in you. That's why Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have written these materials. That's why they're giving, to, giving them to you for free. So to request your salvation package, just go to kcm.org. And then just continue to feed your spirit with the word of God. How do you do that? You read your Bible. You pray, you talk to God, you let him talk to you. What you're doing right now is great. You watch the believer's voice of victory because this entire ministry is about feeding you with the word of God. Go to kcm.org for free information and study materials to help you grow spiritually and in your walk with the Lord. And then join us right back here on the broadcast again tomorrow. Brother Copeland and Mark and Trina Hankins will be explaining how you win the war of words. You don't want to miss this. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember, God loves you and we love you. And Jesus is Lord. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a gift for you called the Salvation Package. Learn who you are in Jesus and what belongs to you as a child of God. Email us at partners at kcm.org.uk and request your free Salvation Package. Take the word of faith wherever you go with the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine. Since 1973, KCM has delivered the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine worldwide. We're reaching nearly 400,000 people in 202 countries and territories on five continents, all absolutely free. Every magazine contains faith-building articles from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and other guest authors. Read encouraging stories from people like you in testimonies of real life victory. Equip your kids with powerful tools for spiritual growth in Commander Kelly's Corner. With a variety of viewing formats available, sharing is easier than ever. Download a digital copy for your tablet or mobile device. Click on the interactive magazine option where you'll find bonus content, videos, and downloads. Sign up for your free monthly subscription or download your copy today on our KCM website.